think I might do a week of walking and because I feel this week is going to be a whole load of changes of weather and today it's been pouring it's been grey all morning it poured at lunchtime and now the sun's come out it's quite nice but the ground here is so soggy it was earlier last week a week ago it was really frosty the ground was hard and crisp and uh, we go through these Dramatic weather changes. Oh, there goes a squirrel up the tree. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to do little daily reports. Today is no idea. Monday, the 11th of January 2017. This part of the forest has been left alone for quite a while. Came for a walk one day last week, and then the next day, this has all been <laughs> half chopped down. They've been chopping a lot of stuff down, and this is a road that I've walked along many, many a time. <laughs> Just a nice, easy road to walk on and has now been churned up by a caterpillar track. And where this used to be the nice, kind of easy part of my walk, this has now become <laughs> a rather claggy, muddy quagmire and quite hard work walking across. Well, I was visiting a school yesterday, so I wasn't able to get out and walk, but it was very grey. <laughs> very grey, miserable. And today the sun has come out and it's very bright, but it's gone windy and it's gone very cold. And uh, I don't know, can you hear the wind? It's just kind of rushing around in the tops of the trees. And uh, they are threatening snow. <laughs> so we go all kinds kinds of weather. <laughs> Ooh, creep underneath there. Well, yesterday, Thursday, I think, <laughs> was really drenching wet, grey, miserable. And then overnight we had snow. <laughs> so I woke up to snow this morning, which is gone. And uh, now the sun is out and it's crisp quite blowy. And over on the east coast they're all uh, getting ready for storm surges and flooding and all sorts of stuff so there's a lot of weather being thrown at us at the moment. This, <laughs> walking or stumbling, <laughs> is kind of one of the best bits of my job. <laughs> is it my job? <laughs> well I've made it my job. I found that I could spend hours and hours and hours sat at my desk staring at a screen getting stiffer and all oh, sclerotic and so I made I made going for a walk <laughs> part of my job description and it's it is part of the job yeah because while I'm out here walking I'm thinking coming up with ideas it's amazing the effect walking has on the brain it kind of really sort of gets some oxygen in there for a start but it, um, something about the rhythm of walking sort of really gets ideas going. So if you stop for ideas, <laughs> put your walking shoes on and get out there. This so looks like something that's been living down here. Mm. I don't think so. I walk past this quite often. It seems it's just grown up overnight, but I didn't think it has. I just hadn't noticed it. That's enormous, look. <coughs> Underneath. And then this one here has been kind of twisted by the ivy growth. And this blackberry has kind of affected the shape too. So I'm going to move that. And take that one away as well. Can you hear the wind in the trees? Well, I think it's a week since I first <laughs> did one of these weather videos. 
I have to be very careful today because it's really dreek, as they say in Scotland. It's really wet and you can see it's misty. And uh, half the country apparently is in <laughs> brilliant sunshine. <laughs> and we're in the clouds. <laughs> and it's very wet, very slippery underfoot. So, uh, so we've had everything this week, ice and snow. We've had sunshine, the whole lot. <laughs> That's the British weather for you. <laughs> can you hear that pitter-patter of raindrops like I can? Well, this is two days on, and this is kind of unusual. We've got a weather pattern really stuck. I mean, it's been grey and damp for a couple of days. It's cold as well today. And in Spain, right down on the Mediterranean, it's snowing. So we're not getting any green vegetables, apparently. <laughs> so the weather has gone a bit topsy-turvy this year. Certainly down near the Mediterranean. It's pretty normal for us, actually. And today, Beautiful and sunny, but very, very cold. And the ground has gone icy. I'll let you hear it crunch in a minute. And yet, about 200 foot down in town, it's thick, misty, gray, miserable, foggy day. Now listen to my feet. There's nothing quite like in the British winter to get out and walk. Um, this is a favourite walk. And this is what you call a scowl around these parts in the Forest of Dean. Up here, there's a quarry just on the other side. And they've piled, you can see all the stone up here, they piled all the rubbish stone up there into a great big pile. And all this here is the same from, I don't know, a century ago. And uh, and then, you know, plants start growing on it. It's usually the buddlier start first, and then they kind of send their roots down and the earth kind of appears as things die, and soon trees grow, and then you get these wonderful kind of paths through the scowls. And on a sunny day like this, there's nothing quite like it to <laughs> lift your spirits <laughs> in the middle of a dark, cold, gloomy, British winter. Sometimes you come into the forest in the middle of winter, and it's particularly when it's cold and dark, <laughs> mid-midwinter, and it's dead. There's no sound. And yet a bit of sun, and the days are slightly, <laughs> almost perceptibly lengthening. And uh, today, there's bird song and a buzzard flying up above me. <laughs> and I've had a couple of a couple of calls of birds I can't recognise at all. So um, spring can't be that far away. I saw this and I thought the fox has killed a rabbit. <laughs> and I looked at it. I thought, no. That's cat fur or dog fur or something that's been combed. What was that doing there and then? Up above, I can see that's a great tits and all sorts of little birds are twittering about, pairing up as well. Somebody has put this out for their nest. 